tap back. I, I kind of figured it wasn't like too modded because I pulled away pretty good. And normally if those are full bolt on tune, I, I only pull maybe a couple cars, a few car lengths, but that was more like a lot more than that. So welcome back to another video. So today I just kind of want to compare the 2012 or yeah, 2012 to 14 model to the 09 to 11 models. So Right off the bat, I realized that I forgot to say that the 09 to 11, all 5-speed automatic, and the 12 to 14 is all 6-speed automatic. Now, with the 6-speed automatic, even with K-Tuner, you cannot um, hold 4th gear, I believe, past 120 miles an hour, and you can't hold 5th gear. Auto shifts to 6, so you... After 120 miles an hour, the car is pretty much dead, unfortunately. And all front-wheel drive are 3.5. All all-wheel drive are the 3.7 liter. A lot of people don't know there is a slight difference in the models. So, um, starting from the bottom here, um, first off, the fog lights and the switchbacks look a little different along with this area. One thing I did forget to bring is my A-spec kit because I wanted to bring my front A-spec to kind of just place it on there to show you guys um, the difference. But I do like the front A spec kit way better on the 12 to 14s. I find like it's way more aggressive. Like it starts near the t near the like mid fender and it wraps around. So um, as you can see here, the 09 to 11 just has this little like few inch space, and it just goes right there, and that's it. And it kind of just kind of stops there. Doesn't really go around like you would think it would. Um, well, it does, but it just doesn't look like it. So now. For the front here, like I said, this is a little different. I don't really care for all that. Um, I don't know. I just find the 12 to 14 looks better. As you can see there, it's a it's a difference. Um, I kind of I definitely like the look of this model better in the front, and also on the grill, like it's definitely toned down a bit. Like you got these lines here, and then the the mesh underneath you still mesh on the 09 to 11 but we'll skip to that in a second but they tone this down which i really like now if you have a white um car or silver or anything like you can just color match this part and it'll look really good with the chrome around but i just blacked out everything because i don't like that chrome piece around it still i find sticks out if you don't black that out so and then here also like that's just I don't know I don't like the look of that it just sticks out too much now if you do color match it no matter what vehicle you have if you color match it it's gonna look good um, but just from the factory it looks horrible so uh, yeah definitely need to color match that also these headlights on the 09 to 11 are silver like uh, the housing as you see here like the inside is all black <laughs> well you can't see because my headlights are so friggin foggy i definitely like look at that i can just scratch it with my nail that's how bad it is so definitely going to clean these up it's just i've been procrastinating all winter because it was way too cold and crappy to be taking stuff apart so yeah i gotta clean those up I gotta take this piece off they do look better when they're cleaned up you can see they're just not all like silver like the the other one and they are a lot i don't know i find that that blacked out housing looks way better now those are the rims that i got for the oem rims on this and i definitely like these rims way better than mine and this is a screenshot from an old video but yeah these oem rims i find them so ugly and just plain jane boring five spoke rims so the other ones are way more aggressive i find and also those puddle lights there you can just google or amazon puddle lights acura and you could probably find them and here's another screenshot um when i painted the rims black now i do like the center caps on these the chrome acura symbols whereas the other ones on the 09 to 11 they don't have chrome symbols so if you do paint them you're not going to see that acura logo in the middle this is the 12 to 14 rear end. Now the difference is um, this part above the license plate is actually like um, toned down a bit. It's not as wide and fat, which I definitely like more. Um, and those reflectors are smaller, which I like more. Now the quad tips, I put these on, but I'll throw a stock photo up of what it looks like stock. 
So as you see there, it's just dual exhaust. And these are like the quad tip mufflers, way better. On the 09 to 11 that came with the quad tips, it looks way more aggressive. Um, even like the deflectors, it's gonna be controversial. Whether it's more aggressive or not, I'm undecided. I still think I like these more, but even when I swap the bumper, I am um, probably gonna tint out those red pieces because they stick out pretty bad. Now the A-spec kit on these are a little different they just the a spec kit for these just go off the side but as you can see here the a spec kit goes right around uh, right to the license plate it just looks so much more aggressive so much better um the stock quad tips and as you see here the reflectors are way bigger which i don't really care for kind of sticks out too much but see that under the trunk it's way way fatter that chrome piece and I really do not like that at all. So um, once it's color match, it looks way better. So just going over right quick, comparing to once it's all blacked out, this is what it looks like. Chrome up the strip, chrome around the sides. You got your chrome handles. You got the rear with chrome in the lighting. Don't mind that SH all-wheel drive. That should be below there. I don't. I don't know if previous owner moved it, but it definitely is supposed to be on the lower end of the trunks. That's it all blacked out, like coming up the top. You see, it just looks so much cleaner, I find. I do got to redo my chrome strips, but black handles looks way better. Um, here, coming to the tail light. See, this is just tail light tint, and it looks 10 times better. Just tinting those tail lights to get rid of that chrome I've blacked out the chrome piece underneath and it just looks so much cleaner i find like even debadged it you don't gotta debadge it. it still looks clean either way as long as you color match under the trunk and uh fix those tail lights so either some people take those apart and they paint the chrome part black which is what i think i'm going to be doing in the future or they paint um it all red where the chrome is which looks really good also like even um this part here they paint that so it looks really good all red or if you black out that uh chrome i mean i do need to redo it as you can see on certain angles like you can still see the chrome just because i kind of i didn't take these pieces off to wrap it so i definitely need to re-wrap it and i'm gonna pop these pieces right off to do it next time this time I kind of just tried to cut it and as you can see like you still see some of the chrome so it's a really bad job but it still looks better than, than it does from the factory even here like little bunch of little errors I made first time ever trying to wrap stuff right so it's a learning process like it is hard to to wrap everything correctly but anyways I mean we might as well do an interior view I do like my OEM shift knob better I am putting the OEM back but that's the inside and that's the rear there so compared to the other interior and here you got the umber interior I believe someone called it so I'm gonna go with um umber because I believe that's probably the proper term versus peanut butter or caramel and uh, you know there's uh that should be a manual but it is what it is the paddle shifts still look good the biggest difference is the front end that uh, anyone's gonna notice right away so anyways guys that's just a quick little video comparison hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button feel free to comment share subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks bye